And Javier Sanchez to serve. Wow. Put some effect on him here as this match gets underway. Cross court. Well, oh, very nice comeback by Javier. Back there now with them in a pennant race. Boy, they're playing some fantastic baseball. Happy for them, and uh, I'm rooting for them. Jimmy and Michael, thank you. Edward serving at 40 Love. Who is uh, Houston Astros pitcher Mark? He was right there. He could have played it. Oh, a miss hit by Sanchez. And that game for virtually none of that period. Late 90s when he achieved the ranking. He's going to feel that he was going to win the tournament. Vita, she didn't miss your plane just then, did you? <laughs> now, fortunately. And that's ace. Edberg has been dominant on his serve. We're getting in. Whoa, look at that. Bounce up. Sanchez and <laughs> strong net your quarter to get to the finals in that event. Sanchez misfires and on a break of serve, Stefan Edberg wins the first set. Other him, but he is tossing the ball a little lower now, and I think he has better control. Uh, and, and he's making more of an for the match. You really can't sit down or sit still for a while because the cramps will get you. Uh, but memory will bring you. Sanchez, from what you think? Well, he's um, he's a flashy player, and he's he's got a lot of shots. Uh, however, he's being overpowered right at the moment. He's got to stay in there and not give up on it. There's an example right there. And Edberg breaks play for his life. He would he would pick John McEnroe and Pancho Gonzalez. Any thoughts about that? <laughs> more confident with it Ooh. and slam event punch on Life is going to change a lot before it's over. And uh, some of the fellas who are making this big money today are still not very happy and close to the line again.
Ooh. Oh, what a great return by Edberg, and he is up two sets to none. Oh, yes. To win the match, you would be playing into Edberg's forehand. Uh, right now, you, you might see some weak have trouble holding the racket up, and they show even more weaknesses. To the women's semifinals, joining Jennifer Capriati and Monica Sellers. I don't think you do that. I, everything else is legal. If you squeak the sneaker, that uh, just happens. Yeah, to be honest with you, we hear it more up here on television than they do out on the court, I think, because of all the mics. Dutchman Paul Harhus, that'll be 7.30 Eastern tomorrow night. Women's Jimmy Connors. That was the right answer. We will go back upstairs. Quite a sportsman out there. Oh, yeah. And there's no way that Sanchez can get any pace on it, so he's, uh... Oh, yeah. He's like a sitting duck there to play as well as Edberg's playing right now. There's a little bit of danger. In the match. Cards there. Stefan's coach. And there's the game. Oh, Sanchez. Sanchez with, with a pair of My rack is trying to get him to handle better, and uh, I would have loved to have played with two days' equipment. He used to drill holes in the in the uh, shaft of the racket, in the aluminum racket. Pancho, you're also one of the first ones to start experimenting with the different materials in rackets. than he did earlier in the match. <laughs> you big hitters, you. Eat your heart out, baby. <laughs> I, I'm jealous. <laughs> and another fat. There it is. And there it is. Edberg puts it away. And for the third time, Stefan Edberg is a semi-finalist at the U.S. Open, the first time since 1987. They needed just one hour and 41 minutes to defeat into the semi-finals. We'll continue on USA in a moment. <laughs> 